Welcome to School of Civil Engineering. In this video, I will show you that how we will check our square displacement. And in our previous video, I have shown you that how we will check our square drift limitation check. And in this video, I will show you by using this, that Excel sheet soil limitation or displaced limitation check. I mean, uh, according to every code, there have a limit for displacement according to its height of that floor so now we'll check that how much is it stable or not for our design so let's start So first of all, we'll open our previous model and you all know about that model if you're following my series, tutorial series and if you don't know, you can watch our previous video. So first of all, here the important thing, you have to name your story like that way. First of all, the base floor will be F1, then F base floor will be bf f1 f2 f3 like f9 and after f9 you have to start with a zone a2 and you can provide here f10 because if you provide like that way you will be unable to find your data or arrange your data so from here and here on thing our base floor will be in top and our top floor will be in the bottom side so first of all we have to collect our s to the height so for that we'll go to a tabs and uh, first of all from here table then we have to go model then we have to go a structure layout then we have to go a structure s to the data so from here we'll be able to find our data so for that we have to change that as previous so here it is bf f1 f2 f5 but if is it not in like that way it can be instead like that way sorry it can be like that way i mean there have no sequence then you have to use short ascending then you will find your value like that way so from here you will find your value height in inch but uh, we have to change it in meter so copy that so from bf to f5 we have to copy that copy and go to excel and from here from inch we will use that in feet then again copy that copy that and again go here paste it here six and here we'll find the value in meter so copy that and go here s3 height paste as value so we have found our s3 height and our cumulative height and our soil limitation here we are also showing after that we have to find out displacement in millimeter so again we'll go to etabs we'll close that and after that again we'll minus that minus minus and from here we'll go analysis then we'll go analysis and uh, sorry uh after that we have to analyze our building we're going to analyze that after analyzing we'll find our required data it's done then we'll go analysis here result here displacement here is the s3 maximum or average displacement double click we'll find here your all data and we have to check it for our earthquake and Wind load. So first of all, 
from here we'll select from here we'll select qx for qx we'll change that and if here for qx and if here if there have x y both we have to select only x or y then they're already in ascending form otherwise we have to change it here from ascending form so from here we'll find our value it's showing it is in inch but from here we can use that matrix as a unit so it's a change our value have changed here so from here we'll copy that copy that and go to excel so paste it here okay so it's showing that uh, the maximum limitation is like uh, for top floor 31 and it's showing 27 so our take is okay i mean our displacement is under limitation and again we'll go for q we'll go for q minus and again when ascending that and from top we'll copy that again we'll go here the history height should be in minima meter and displacement should be in millimeter paste it here it's also okay again we'll go here and we'll take our load qy and we'll use that ascending so from here we'll take our data copy click here and paste as value here you're seeing that they have two s3 s3 2 3 and 4 it's showing our displacement is not okay and another three strays are showing okay so again we'll go for qy q minus y again we'll make it ascending from here we'll copy that copy paste it here so same it's three are showing that it's not okay and again we'll go for win load wx we'll make it ascending so from here copy with that we'll go here and paste it here all are showing okay again we'll go for w y again we'll go for ascending We'll copy our data, copy that, and go to Excel, paste it here. So, uh, only for earthquake in y direction, only for earthquake in y direction, uh, it's showing that displacement is not under limitation, and for that, we have to change our column shape. Next video, I'll show you that how we'll change our column shape and how we'll pass our displacement, S2 displacement problem. So, S12, stay connected till next video. Thank you, thank you very much.